Hello, my friends. Christopher Barrelette with the Barrelette Collection at Preferred Real Estate Brokers. I am back after a bit of a hiatus with another great new construction opportunity in sunny Kissimmee, Florida. Today, December 2nd, 2021, we are going to be taking a look at what's available with KB Homes at Bella Viva. It is a brand spanking new community that is coming located near Champions Gate. Currently being sold from Tivoli Reserve. As you can see, they are just getting started out there in Bella Viva. Uh, Tivoli is also in the area and still has some great opportunities available as well. Both are real close proximity to Disney and other attractions and about 30 to 35 minutes from downtown Orlando or the Orlando airport. Now, I think KB is a great option for those who are budget focused and really like to customize their home. They give you the base model, which is like a cheese pizza, if you will, and the options or toppings to make the home all your own. A more classic or traditional style, I like how they mix it up with the uh, siding up top and the stucco down below there. Uh, something you see throughout a lot of the different models they have. In just a few moments, we're going to be walking through the 2566 model. Now, you may have noticed that KB likes to make it easy by making the model names the same as the square footage of the home. The options are available to customize this one are way too much for me to go ahead and list here. So I'm going to make sure to have a list uh, down in the description for you, as well as I'll do my best to highlight them throughout the entire walkthrough. All right, so let's go ahead and pop on in to the 2566 and let's see what you think of the layout. Upon walking up, the 2566 plan I think has a very nice setup, uh, a grand kind of feel to it and a little bit more of a curb appeal with some of the different plans that they have. Uh, love how they mix it up again with the siding and then the stucco uh, down below. So really, really great options to give you a bit of a grand feel uh, to it. And I like the way that they kind of brought, you know, this window outward, put that in. So it just creates these different sections and lines to give uh, you a great great curb appeal. Uh, again, you know, for these neighborhoods particularly, uh, they're going to probably more do the uh, concrete setup. So like you see here for your driveway um, and your walkway, um, de depending on elevations, well, depending, you know, if you have like a column here or how they set up the front. So those will kind of change for a little bit as you do those. Uh, so let's pop on into the 2566. I do love this. Oh my, nice, small, uh, tall door. Uh, so that's definitely probably uh, uh, an optional feature or maybe set up to where you have the eight foot door. And I think that that is a phenomenal uh, setup to have if you like it. All right. Ooh. I do love the foyer area, a little short, but definitely nice and wide. Uh, you've got your wall here. That's gonna be perfect uh, to add in some kind of, you know, art or, or, or you know, furniture, mirror, something like that, that we kind of normally see typically in the homes, but overall nice and open. Uh, so I do like that. All right, first to our left, I guess, we'll head on in. And this is gonna be your bedroom five. Now, this is actually an optional bedroom. What comes standard here is gonna be a den. And if you have the den, then you have just a powder room up top. So let's put uh, uh, just a powder room around the corner. So let's go ahead and pop in. Let's look at this closet so you can see the sizing on that. And then just to show you here. So this bathroom, instead of being a full one, which will come along with the bedroom five conversion and actually having a full bathroom down here, you'd be looking at just a you know powder room, just your sink and your commode there. Uh, but as you can see, some great uh, kind of construction and set up for you when you do have the full bath here. Uh, so if like, if you'd like to keep the den um, and just have the den here and have the powder room, they went ahead and gave an option for you to add a window uh, to that back wall there. So instead of that shower, you can add a wall, uh, add a window just to the powder area. All right, so I like coming out back here. We've got uh, to our right, this is gonna be your door to your garage uh, area here. Uh, so they've got it filled with stuff, I won't, you know, bother you with that uh, and then to the left here we've got a nice understeer storage so I really love the homes that kind of utilize and give that extra space uh, you know it's under the stairs it's absolutely perfect for a lot of folks so you can get a lot of storage done in here so this one's nice because it goes around the corner for you and again just giving you a nice space where you can have some added storage great option uh, for them to utilize that 
Oh, yes, very nice. Let me just swing it around here a bit, show you this open area space. Very nice setup. I like it, it's great for entertaining, has a nice flow all the way through. So I really do enjoy the homes that do that. So let's pop one in to the gathering area, kind of show you that. All right. So a bit of the toppings, if you will, they kind of have some different options for you. So if you want a little bit more natural light in your gathering area, you can actually go ahead and make this window a kind of bigger one, a three pane, so another big third window kind of on the side there. Uh, and then you can also add a window at this corner here as well as a window at this corner here so if you really like to have natural light you can have it just pouring into this room here uh, with the amount of windows that they allow you to upgrade to uh, overall a great size as you can see you know a couple couches and single chair they got the room for uh, if you have you know TV it's gonna it's gonna be perfect and great for you I think great size in the gathering room uh, so right on into the dining area in between uh, I love how you have you know this wall here so you've got, again, nice space showing you something that you can put there and do there. If you'd like to have a bar, this might be the perfect spot for it uh, right off the dining area uh, for when you're entertaining and everything is perfect. But the size, obviously, as you can see, you can put anything in here that you like. Six table seating, eight you know, seating would be absolutely perfect here. It's going to be a great, great size uh, overall. Now, they went ahead and out on the patio, you have a lot of different options here. This is actually the standard that you're seeing now with the uh, single kind of covered uh, patio, or actually, I'm sorry, the standard I should say is gonna be no patio, but if you wanna go ahead and do the first option, you can do a kind of singular 10 by 10 covered uh, patio, but then they also have the option of making it a nice extended patio. So you can actually have an extended uh, covered patio as well. And if you wanna get a little bit more of a luxury feel to it, you can change these sliding glass doors into French doors as well. Uh, so those will go out, you know, and actually go out towards the patio, which is a very, very nice setup. Uh, now on into the kitchen. Ah, very lovely. Um, they have got uh, a very nice setup. Now the standard does not include the island, okay? Uh, so they have an optional island. If you want a kitchen just like this, like you see it here, your more standard kind of kitchen, you can also add in uh, just the island if you'd like. Uh, you know, they also have an option of adding in that cabinetry that's above the fridge there. Uh, so just having a little bit more uh, storage and cabinet space. And you've also got the option of doing a gourmet kitchen. Um, so they'll kind of change it up a little bit. They'll bring double ovens to be right here for you. Uh, they'll go ahead and bring the sink and the dishwasher on into the middle of the island. So those will be kind of right here for you. And then they'll have, uh, you know, your kind of stovetop range and, and refrigerator like as normal. Uh, so you also have the option for the gourmet kitchen. As you can see, top level cabinets, plenty of storage plenty of room throughout. Uh, no one should be bumping into each other if you got two cooks in the kitchen that happened. <laughs> All right, uh, great seating on the island. I think it's a good size overall. They just have three here, but you can uh, probably, if you have a little bit skinnier chairs, you can do four total, I think, uh, could sit here and do uh, very, very nice. So overall, great touches. As you can see, the top level cabinets that you're able to get a good window for light uh, and, and great setup overall in the kitchen. All right, now let's go ahead and hop on upstairs and let's take a look at what the 2566 plan has for you. Now, please be sure uh, to stay in with us, subscribe. Uh, it does not cost you anything. Subscribe, hit the bell so you can get notified whenever we have new videos on all things Central Florida, homes, new construction. We'll see you. Right. So very nice coming up stairs. We're going to go ahead and head on into our right uh, bedroom. This is bedroom uh, four. Now they've got it actually set up here as a bit of an entertainment space, but the sizing lets you know exactly what you're looking at as far as like if you need, you know, for your typical bedroom. Uh, but doing it this way, they remind us that this is actually an option and that you can change this into a loft area. So this would be an open loft area, it won't have the closet, won't have an everything, and you can set that up as an entertainment area just like this.
All right, on into bedroom three. Now these are probably a more, you know, typical bedroom size. They're a little bit bigger uh, than let's say 10 by 10, but I really like the size of this. I love the amount of light that comes in with having the two windows. Uh, so you have like kind of like a typical bigger window, but I like that smaller one there. Uh, adding to that kind of front curb appeal and I love the little shelf over there on, uh, uh, to kind of be able to sit if you like. So it's kind of nice, a uh, little bit of a great setup and uh, good oh, good size overall in the room, you know, good size in the closet. They kind of just have the slide door, so it makes it nice and easy. I like those a little bit better than the accordion doors, or, or sorry, accordion doors. I don't know, how about you? All right, so then on into bedroom two. Again, kind of a bit of a mirror, I would say. Uh, looks, you know, size-wise to be about the same closet, you know, and all. Uh, so definitely whatever furniture, things that you need for a typical room are going to fit well in here. It's not going to feel cramped. All right, on into your laundry area. Now here they had, again, some great, great toppings for you. Uh, but as, as you can see, typical kind of size, perfect uh, for your machines to kind of come in right there. Um, I love the spacing here. So when they, of course, they give you the option to kind of add in the kitchen, the uh, sink, I'm sorry, your utility sink here. Um, and then you also have the options of doing the lower cabinetry as well as the upper cabinetry. So I really uh, wish they would have done that for you in this model, but you do have all of those particular options to kind of tweak the laundry room and do exactly what you need. And I recommend on my wife raves about having the cabinets. And then the last option actually, which is awesome, if you really like to have some natural light in your laundry room, you can put a window right on the wall there as well. So very nice options that are available. I think good size overall for the laundry room area. All right. So we've got our bath too, just kind of for our rooms that are up here. Um, and as you can see, you know, you, with the um, standards, they don't do the upper level uh, countertops in the other bathrooms, but you do have that option available to kind of change into your granite. Uh, but you can see the upper level cabinetry and hardware as well. Uh, on into your shower and depending again, there's gonna be options that are available for you if you'd like to upgrade to have a nice tile and things like that. Now on the uh, sink area, kind of similar in my last video, if you saw it, uh, they do have, again, where you can change this here. So you have the dual sink option. You can also change to where you have just the one sink and you can do a vanity. You can do vanity with knee space. You can do vanity um, with cabinetry. So you kind of, it's up to you. Um, you can actually, again, tweak this bathroom to kind of be exactly what's perfect for you. All right, so right here to our right, you've got your AC unit. Um, here you're going to be doing that maintenance and everything there. Don't forget, we run our ACs down here 24-7. Uh, so very important are how you uh, get that monthly maintenance. And I recommend a plan if you, uh, to service it throughout the year. Uh, also here you got your uh, hallway closet, which I think is a great size. It's actually a little bit bigger than some of the hallway closets you see. So great size overall. And then on into our primary bedroom. Wow. Yes, very nice size. So all, all, right off the bat, I say I love the size of this. As you can see, enough for the bedroom, uh, for the bed, enough for the you know end tables on the sides, and then plenty more room after that. Uh, so you can have the added furniture, you could have the seating area. This is gonna all fit perfect. And again, some great options for you to tweak it. So do you like to have some more natural light? Uh, well, there's definitely options to add more windows on this wall over here. Uh, and then also for the tray ceiling, which I absolutely love, love in the mat, in the primary bedroom. I think it's uh, great when they have it. It's something that you know catches folks' eye. And so that's just missing here. You don't see that, but you can get that tray ceiling where you're able to add in like uh, you know wood or any kind of uh, color, different textures, things to to kind of create an installation there. Uh, so right around the corner. We're going to be heading and taking a look at the primary closet. Now, I absolutely love the size of this. I love the location kind of around the corner here. Uh, so it's absolutely great. And as usual, I always recommend that you, if you can afford and do the custom closet setup, that's what's going to be absolutely perfect in here. You're going to have your upper and lower levels. You're going to have your diversity of sections, and that's what's really going to be able to use the space uh, absolutely phenomenal well. Uh, so on into the primary bathroom. Oh, I absolutely love the space in here. And again, 
uh, they have some great toppings or options uh, that are available for this one to kind of tweak yourself. Um, so you've got, you know, of course, your dual sinks and cabinetry. You can actually enclose uh, the commode if you'd like. You've got the option of doing, you know, the tub and shower that you see here, but you can actually separate it so you can get rid of this linen closet that you have here, have the tub and have a separate shower if you'd like. You could have the shower just alone. Uh, so they give you all the different options to kind of tweak this bathroom and make it your own. And I'll definitely be sure to kind of list those and have those up on the screen for you. Uh, some great, great customization options and uh, you know toppings, if you will, that they kind of offer. But good room overall. And depending on what you like, you can really uh, make it your own, give it that luxury feel. All right, my friends, that was the 2566, and I really hope that you enjoyed taking this walkthrough with me. I enjoyed the home. I really feel like, like I said, it's the uh, room or size that's perfect for me and kind of my family and having some of the extra spaces like the loft and everything. Those are some of the things that I really enjoy and I hope that you do as well. If you'd like any more information on this home or any other home in the Central Florida area, please be sure to give us a call at 407-630-8484. I will see you in the next one. And as always, as for Christopher, take care.